Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm here with a planner set up flip through um, for the month of October. I thought it'd be a good idea just to get this out of the way now because I know once October hits it would be quite a busy month for me. Um, so yeah, here is the planner. So this is the um, Jeanette Velvet Sand Leather from the company Vanderspeck or VDS for short. Um, I did get this in the personal Personal ring size um, which they call the standard size and I do have 30 millimeter rings in here um, but I do have my customizations my ordering process in the most recent video that I uploaded um, as for the care for this leather um, I will be uploading it later either later in this coming week um, or possibly the weekend um, as I'm not sure like when's the best time I can film next I am quite strapped for a schedule uh, today so I thought I'd just get this video up first um, so yeah it's a very pretty um, taupe colour like a neutral taupe absolutely love it um, so as we first open up here we do have these cards and this side hasn't changed much since the previous video as I really do love the setup here. And um, These cards are from Alice Fox Designs but since then she has changed her shop name and then she's now closed. Um, I'm not really sure what happened um, but I do know, I think her name is Hey Planner Girl. Um, I'll leave the, the, the names down below. Um, she also does um, like PDFs that you can edit and she does like um, task cards as well as like contents pages that you'll see later on as well um, they're super pretty and very easy to work with so you can make them there um, so this is first up my evening routine I've done this back to front evening routine and that's that my shutdown routine you've got it there um, and then my startup routine which is that and lastly my morning routine there so I've got these cards in the card slots here and uh, da, 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 da. so for the customizations I normally edit this side when um, when I order in from VDS because I feel like sometimes six card slots is a bit too much but I've kept it as six this time and it's worked out pretty well where the cards are just four and then I've got the um, please return card and the emergency card from Alibi's Design Studio. These are freebies and they just fit in perfectly there so yeah six card slots do work out well. Um, so I've got that here. Um, so yeah, they're from Alibi Design Studios in her um, blog, which are freebies. And then these two um, decorative pieces here, this is from Purpose Papery. Um, and then this is actually something I found in my drawer. Um, I'm not really sure where I got it from, but I thought it was super cute as it's got like pretty white roses on it. So that's in the pocket. Um, in this slot here, I've just got some um, two cute little notes. This is from my friend Georgina, who is Georgina the Librarian on Instagram. She does really cute um, nano um, minimal stickers. I've got them in the back there, I'll show you later. And then this is from TJ Bruno. This is one of my art orders. Um, she does really cute um, like fan arts. Um, I've just got that card there and then this is my freebie from Planner Monkey Co um, but there might be a switch up in freebies so stay tuned for that um, and then in this pocket here I've got these two um, sticker sheets this is from Planner Monkey Co but recently um, Sydney did make these sheets um, well these stickers on a smaller form as well and they're super cute um, the smaller form fits better on um, like monthly spreads and weekly spreads where you've got like quite tight knit spaces um, but these work great like on dailies um, as well but um, just depends on what kind of sizing you like to work with and then I've got these happy moment stickers from paper and milk um, these I absolutely love how cute the designs are I've been hoarding it for quite some time to be honest <laughs> so they're in there and then onto the main body of the planner um, so this is 
um, I've got a lot of layering going on. This is just a laminated sheet. Um, and then this is the uh, white floral uh, foil on acetate from the Crescent Planner. This is just to protect the design from rubbing off onto the leather and also um, just making the design last longer. Um, and then this is a digital that I did on Canva. The girl is from Lestika. Um, again, names will be listed down below because I probably butchered some by accident, so sorry. Um, but yeah, it's just super cute. And I've just printed on super thick vellum. Um, just to act like a front cover and on the back here I've just got lots of bits and bobs and this is just like translucent stickers that I purchased from Aliexpress um, just got some cute washi card here um, some paper grid sticky notes from Paper Kumako um, and then freebies from Cloth and Paper as for this cute little bunny at the back, this is from Blush Sprout. Um, she's a pin shop, but this is from her Patreon, um, monthly Patreon that she has. And this is from the August um, bundle. And then I've got this cute little pin here from That's Lovely Dear. I've just de-pinned it, um, so um, I found it was magnetic. It's such a great cute little pin. This is Akatar, um, Fame if you were wondering. Then here I've got two Ollie clips and then I've got quite a bit of layering going on in this part. This is again just a clear laminating sheet to protect the design. This is a freebie from um, Kansu or um, CSY.planning on Instagram. It's we are all in this together, hashtag stay home and I've just printed that on acetate. Then I've got this white grid acetate from the Crescent Planner um, and then this was created on Canva and then this is a digital from She the Spy that I purchased um, like in a bundle. It was for like um, phone wallpapers but I printed it so it could fit in my personal rings. And then at the back of that I've just got this cute little cup digital. Not sure where I got it sorry <laughs> it was quite some time ago and I've just popped that to the back so it's just um, just covers up the white paper and just gives it a little something more to have there to look at so I've just got all that clipped together and then at the top here I've got this cute little card from uh, Planner Monkey Co you're one of a kind and I've got this cute little note from my boyfriend <laughs> Um, and then on this side, I have this um, vellum from um, Planner Monkey Co. again. I do have a shop code for her, it's Rachel15. Um, again, any shops that I have codes for, they'll be listed down below. Um, this is the condense page that you can edit on the PDF. This is from Hey, um, hey Planner Girl. I'm just going to double check. I've got the right name. Um, yeah, Hey Planner Girl. Um, that I saw on Michelle's um, Insta stories as well as Amanda's. Um, Michelle is like, um, Michelle, I keep forgetting your handling name. <laughs> um, this is Michelle's Instagram. Definitely check her out. She's got super cute um, setups. I absolutely love it. They're so functional as well. And then Amanda from uh, Amanda Lee um, Plans. Please tell me that's your handle Amanda because I keep forgetting. Yes, Amanda Lee Plans. Woohoo! Um, again, I'll leave um, their account names down below, but I saw them have it in their plan. I was like, yes, that is so cute. Um, the listing does give a bunch of other designs as well um, that you can just pick from and from the price point, it's just so good. Um, absolutely love the look of it. You can get um, six sections or five sections. I've done the six because I have six. Um, and then here I've got this laminated tissue paper. That's actually from my pin order. This is the tissue paper here and it does create the little crinkles in it as well but I find that super cute to have in here too. So yeah, just thought it was something cute to have in my planner. Just make do with what you have. <laughs> Don't throw away cute packaging because you never know you might want it to in your planner. Um, and then this, I've just got an adhesive pocket here. And then this is like a pocket um, dash 
this is from Lines Plus Paper. My dividers are also from Lines Plus Paper. I absolutely love Olivia's um, dividers. You get to customize them to the max, um, and they're super super high quality. Um, absolutely love it. I've got brown shimmer foil on these white dividers. They're like whitey cream, but um, super duper pretty. Absolutely love it. Um, and then here, these are new printables from uh, Jacinia's printables. Um, there's 95 section cover designs. 95. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, obviously I did not print them all because I don't need all of them. Um, I just sat down last night and just did a, a bunch of printing and then it kind of made my printer go kaputski for a little bit because it started printing black ink as green and yellow so I had to re, like, re-clean the printer and get new ink but um, I'm so glad these printables came out fine. <laughs> um, they're super pretty. They're kind of like a bouquin kind of style because Sometimes when I find section covers, they only have the front, they never have anything at the back. So I find that I have to find like random, not random, but like complementing um, designs to put it at the back. So it kind of separates each section. But for um, just any these printables here, so you get the back as well. Um, so I just thought that was a really cute idea to have in here because it just it definitely just separates everything absolutely love it so there's that and then this is a printable a freebie printable from paper test designs who i also have a code for is rachel20 for 20 percent off and this is a freebie from her profile link there's a number of sizes to choose from and this is september i do have october in here as well that's later on so i can switch it out when it's time um this is a printable from back to basics I've just printed it on acetate um, an acetate sheet just so it's easier for me to like put on sticky notes or any random bits and bobs just add a quicker access really um, so yeah there's that and then first up inbox just really going into it now um, this is from um, planners anonymous like from kits from last year I believe this is from lines um, no Loft and Main Co. Um, Anna does a lot of digitals there. She recently released like an autumn theme um, bunch of digitals. I think it was yesterday and they're super pretty. I did add them in here as well so you see them in a moment. This is from Cloth and Paper. Um, I've just reprinted some of these inserts just so it just looks a bit neater and I just love the idea of just having fresh new inserts in here for a setup for like a new month or just a new season. It just looks a bit more neat and tidy. Um, so that's my inbox. I've got my add to planner section um, and then I do have this acetate is from from planner the planner society like back in what 2018 um, and then I have two types of trackers here I use the horizontal um, monthly insert from peanuts planner co and um, again all the inserts that I use in here they will be listed down below as well um, in terms of the shops or either I'll be here for days um, so I've just got like the number of weeks before my exam and then I will write down my schedule like the week, like the Sunday night before and then just kind of pre-plan how things sh should hopefully go. Um, got some note pages, my no more list, although I have like broken that a, a little <laughs> on some days um, just because sticky notes because why not and I'm using them more so it kind of justifies the spend <laughs> I would say and then I've got my happy mail online tracker and then a back is like for stuff I need to get for the apartment or um, for work and they need to be um, like I've definitely ordered it so that goes here I've got my audible um, tracker here just some extra lists inserts from paper test designs and um, so that's that then next up is my calendar or date section and um, this is the digital from no actually i think it's a print of uh, a physical item from a uh, loft and main oh, so super pretty um, from marcia bermucci i love her good design she also does really pretty section covers as well is my year at a glance. I love um, paper test designs and um, font that she uses. It's so pretty. This is a new shop that recently opened, um, Paper and Ink 
printables I think it was last month was it when Kat opened her shop um, absolutely love it I've got a few of her inserts in here but this is the birthdays and anniversaries then I've got um, 2021 um, future log so for next year what I hopefully will look forward to and just need to put down in the new calendar section um, then I've got my quarterly overview um, again from paper test designs don't know if you hear that we've got some kids going by <laughs> um, so you can see how busy the start of the quarter was um, I used the dots from Aliexpress designs they fit in really well here and then things just kind of dropped off as you can expect um, so yeah I really enjoy using this insert and I really love her um, monthly insert that will come up next just got some extra sticky notes here so monthly and um, we've got this rose gold rainbow the larger size from the crescent planner Nicola has tempted me to get the was it the pink rose gold or the pink like definitely like a, a more pinkish tone to it that the foil that she has and I'm definitely gonna get that next because it sounds super pretty so I've got my fill of rose gold and white so next up is definitely pink um, and then this is the new digitals from Loft and Mainco that got released yesterday I absolutely love how they look and I printed that on vellum then we've got my monthly section here this hasn't changed this is just like my monthly tracker of subscriptions and um, just like car insurance and stuff like that I definitely did pay blah 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 that kind of info and when's the next term for it and um, then I've got my monthly overview straight up to October um, I've just done this like color code section that I did see and think in Riley plans um, her monthly and I saw it there I was like ooh that's such a good idea so I've done it for that for like my auto pace events and birthdays and their monthly tasks I'll put them down here this is the other freebie from paper test designs sorry I'm talking fast because I'm on a really tight knit schedule today <laughs> um hopefully everything is clear <laughs> um and then so back into it next there is like an overview page you can have with this insert it goes like together in the listing um, and I just really love how I've used this insert it works out so well for me um, in terms of its functionality on the left side is personal on the right side is for work and um, so I've done as much pre-planning as I can for the next few months and for January next year although it's mainly just birthdays um, so that's the end of monthly then on the weekly section I have this from the Crescent Planner again it's the white foil on the like the leaf design absolutely love it I've probably shown this before um, and then this is the other new release digital from uh, Loft & Main Co. It's so pretty. This would go so well in the aubergine as well. I um, just love that pink tone. And then so as we go into the new weekly, um, this is a new weekly design that Paper Test uh, Designs came out with yesterday. Um, I, as you can tell I really love the functionality of this and it is so pretty to work with um, let me just find you like a blank one because it goes in so much detail um, so here you've got notes Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday this is like a checklist um, area I've just highlighted just to separate sections off I've got study personal work and next week you've got some like important um, no not important I've done it here um, or you could treat this like an as important section or things that you need to get done in the week but you don't know what day it falls on you could put it here um, on this side this is actually customized for me um, I believe this is kept like blank um, in terms of like the headers um, I added these two sections in I've got important at the top and then to buy or to pay um, that here and then this bottom part is the same as you would get in the listing you've got your memo section and your tasks like your habit tracker at the bottom um, and I really love how this insert has been working out for me like I absolutely love it and then you highlight the month you're on and you put like the week you're on as well or you could put in like the week we're on for the year like we're in week what are we we are in week 39 so you can put that here as well if you're more of a week tracker of the year than the actual days um, so you can put that there so that's that 
Um, anyway, yeah, that was, um, you can use the code RACHEL20 for a discount on that. Oops, forgot that here. I'll just put this back to this week. Yep, because we're still on Sunday. And then I've got my daily section. This is like a bubble <laughs> kind of thing or sh for champagne or stuff like that. But cute little bubbles from the Crescent Planner in the Rose Gold Foiling. Um, this is again the last digital that I got from the release from Loft and Main Co. Just absolutely love it. And then this is from Cloth and Paper I've shown before. Um, this is from Paper and Ink Printables. I love cats like, um, what you might call it, um, the dashboards that she does as well. Um, and I've just printed that on thicker vellum. This is like 200 GSM just to kind of hold the design a bit better. This is just clear lamination sheets. This is just like the tasks that I have that I can put on like the, the card here. So I've got more of them at the back. I've got notes. And then this is like the larger rainbow in the hollow foil from the Crescent Planner. Then I've got my daily plans. And these are my daily inserts from Paper Test Designs here. And there are some days like this where I just get too busy and I just don't fill it in and then there are other days that I get to fill more things in um, so yeah I've been using a bit more stickers on this round um, absolutely love them I am switching up my dailies for next month um, so yeah these are how they look like when they're blank and then for next month I am switching in between the two of the ones from Paper Test Design and also these um, these ones from Marcia Bramucci. They're a day per two pages. This is going to be a long video. Okay, we are going with a long video. <laughs> um, so you've got your monthly view here, your previous month, your um, looking forward month, the date, the timeline that goes from 7 till 10, which works perfectly for me because that's the, the best time frame, timeline I really love to use. You've got your members here, your bullet list, like I could split this up, happen, half and half, half and half, um, half and half for um, like important things I need to definitely get done as a task. Um, also happy mail or things I need to pay for the day, stuff like that. Um, or like items for work as well. I've got the weather tracker here, which um, is something I really like to have in my dailies if I can just record it. It's just a little, a little personal thing. Just like to keep track of it. Um, so the highest temperature, the lowest temperature of the day, and then the weather. This is actually a custom added on um, to this insert. Normally when you buy this insert, you don't get that. Um, so yeah, if you want that, definitely give her a message, Marcia, a message, and she be she should be able to add that on for you. Um, you've got your meal prep, your chores, um, exercise, hydrate, errands, spending. So basically anything and everything you want to track in a day, it's all there hence I added in the weather and then a small little journaling section so yeah it is super detailed um I did use this um in August in my personal TN and I really love how it worked um so yeah I'm excited to use this for October in my rings so I've just got up to the fifth here I believe it's like a week two weeks worth of dailies um but I'm pretty sure for um, rolling into October the max I can fit in here is just under two weeks because it's two two pages per day so then I've got some extra note pages from Marcia Bermucci these are actually from her floral um, dailies and it comes in a pack I've got them too just to kind of try out <laughs> um, and I absolutely love her notes um, in that listing so next up we've got personal this is from um, the Crescent Planner as well. Um, just thought I'd show you quickly. That's how the layering looks. It's so pretty. Um, so we've got lists here. This is from Marcia Bermucci. I've got like manga lists that I'm currently reading on. Or sometimes I forget the titles because there's just so many names or so many mangas that I'm working with. I've just put it here, the top two that I'm um, reading up right now. Um, then separate note sections. Um, there's like cute little phrases I want to put on my dashboards if I'm making them on Canva. Um, 
list of printables shops because I do like to change up my inserts as you can see um, it's just something I just enjoy doing for my planner so I've got a list there for who does what or uh, like who's a printable shop then I've got my current personal rings um, planners I am in rotation with um, my page flags this is a freebie from studio um, L2 E designs at Studio LT. Um, you find it on her Instagram. Again, I'll leave description. I'll leave it in the description down below. Um, so you've got your page flags and you've got your swatches. Um, I believe this idea was from um, planning with Alo. Um, Alo actually used this insert first to do the swatches, and then um, Studio L2 E saw that and she was like, "Okay, let's make a swatches one too." I was like, "Yes." Um, so yeah, I've got my favorite highlighters on here for colorful swatches just so I know what I'm working with. Yeah, super fun. This is from Back to Basics. It says, pay attention to me, I'm cute. <laughs> just so cute and pretty. Um, and then I've got my coupon codes here, my list of like, um, I'm trying to keep to a small, um, smaller spending like deco kind of stuff and within EU if I can just because of like shipping um, in terms of the shipping price and as well as how much delay there is right now so this is a handy um, list for me to have in my planner. I do have areas that are um, out with EU that I do keep tabs on as well just in case I just want to like go to another shop too. I've um, got my to buy list um, this is for purchases um, for mainly for non-planner items just to keep track and then my wish list um, and this is from back to basics I thought this was very cute to have in the planner um, this is um, like a uh, personal, like personal life life section. Um, it's my boyfriend info, um, gift list, places we want to visit. I do have it down. It's just this is a very pretty insert from Life is Crafted. I've had it for years and until I'm like I've got everything scribbled down correctly, kind of want to do it alphabetical order as well um, and then I'll put it down here. But who knows, I might just end up writing it in at some point because I'll get bored of getting it alphabetically. Anyway. I've got my appointments, my vehicle maintenance, and then this again is from the Crescent Planner. Woo! And then this is the this is from the Goals Bundle from Paper Test Designs. And this is actually art done by Loft and Main Co. Um, Loft and Main Co. Paper Test Designs and Lines Plus Paper, they all um, collaborated for this um, Goals Maker bundle. Ta da! I've only got one of the sheets in here that I need to fill in too. Um, I just haven't got around to it because goal sections, they constantly change for me just due to how this year has gone. Um, and I do bring in things from work as well. So it's just constantly working out what do I need to work on for my career, that kind of thing. How's my studying, all that. Um, because of the constant changes, I want to have it a bit more settled in to work and then I'll write them down but I do have like rough drafts here and there and everywhere um, and then this um, so yeah that's that and then I've got this task management I'm actually using this for my study like per week in a sense of what's covered so we continue as my camera was going to hit the max 30 minutes soon so I thought I'd just restart um, the next section. So here as I was talking about this insert, I'm using it for study. Um, I was planning to use this like for the weeks I'm working on and what I need to get covered in those chapters. Um, so I'll write them in here and then if I've completed it or not or um, I need to like transfer it to another day. This would normally be used as a checklist but I think I'll be using it for the date I get it completed because um, if I don't get it complete on a certain date I can always move it to the next one or just like highlight it in colour code of which week is what. Um, so that's like when things get super delayed which they're kind of are getting that way but never mind um, and then I've got my study section tracker. These are from paper and ink printables. I really love the look of the um, cat's design. Um, so yeah, this is I thought just to get myself back motivated to do my study, just have like a tracker here as well. Um, so yeah, I've got that here. And then that's the back of that goals page there. 
Then next up I have this um, custom digital from Loft & Main Co. I love Anna's designs, like there's so many design Anna's puts in her shops. I'm just like, oh, it's so pretty, I want it in my planner. <laughs> so there's that. And then this is a custom gift that I got from Olivia from Lines Plus Paper. It's super cute and pretty. I absolutely love it. Um, it says Little Rich Plans at the top there. Super cute. Um, um, and then next up I have this freebie from um, Marcia Bermucci. Um, it says love you. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Sometimes the most important thing in a whole day is the rest we take between two deep breaths. I thought it was really cute to have in here as well. And um, then I've got this YouTube idea list, but some of them I've managed to cover up and um, get done, and some of them just like, I don't think it's gonna be this year. <laughs> um, and then I have this insert that I'm testing out right now. This is from Paper Test Design. It's like a brain dump kind of insert. Um, I've just put this in my projects. It just makes it a lot more easier to work with. Um, sometimes I just want to write down scribbles, but with some inserts like, um, here it's all sectioned off that I'm like yeah it's a bit restricting but this just kind of just like an open field kind of thing so I've got that there just a couple of sheets as my project insert from uh, Simple and Trendy Co um, and then I've got this project plan insert again um, this one is from Think Thank Key um, so yeah it's just different types of project plan inserts that I really just like to try out um, which works best for what thing that I'm doing so I've got that there and then last little bit is my self-care health section and my personal um, so this is the freebie from EO Edits super cute and pretty it's kind of like a newspaper theme um, that and then this is um, from the Potter Society this is my step count although I have been quite bad at it <laughs> recently as you can tell because I haven't been visually um, wearing my Fitbit as you can tell. <laughs> so I'll slowly get back into it. Um, but right now, working from home and all that, I can only like squeeze in a walk here and there in the week. It's just bleh, not good. Um, and then I've got my weight log here. This is again another digital from um, Loft & Main Co. Um, some days I am a goddess, some days I am a wild child, and some days I am a fragile mess. Uh, most days I am a bit of all three, but every day I am here trying. So I thought that was really um, pretty and I absolutely love the message she has here. So I've just put it in my health section. So this is my um, mood tracker as well as like my migraine tracker. And, that um, is great to keep track of my migraines because some some months there's just it feels like there's so many um, and it's also good to keep tabs in uh, with for the doctor as well so I've got that there and this is like the actual notes um, for like days that I don't feel so good um, and I could bring up with the docs as well and this is the new insert that I will be um, going on to after I finish this one this is from um, Paper and Ink Printables this is from um, Peanuts Panico so I've got that there and I've got a medicine log here as well um, I've got my doctor visits this is from Peanuts Panico so that's the end of my health section and then that's my personal Next up is my home section. This is, uh, again, of course, this is from the Crescent Potter. I just love it so much. I've um, got my routines here. This is from Back to Basics. I've got my planning routine here. I've just decided to move it out from the front. Um, then I've got my reoccurring task here. This was going to be used for more of home stuff. Um, for like when there are certain items um, that we need to purchase. Um, shampoos and stuff like that. Um, so I've got that here to start. Um, this idea was from Lindsay from Lindsay Scribbles. Um, I do need to chat to you, Lindsay, about that list you have in your planner because sometimes I forget what I'm doing. I'm like, ooh, it's great to have like a friend list to work off of as well. So yeah, look after for that. Look out for that message. <laughs> um, and then I have my um, purchase list here. Um, 
sometimes it's also good to keep track of who has a deal where um, in terms of like supermarkets like oh this place was charged here this is what I bought um, it's good to keep I guess for me it's just something I just want to keep an eye on too um, and then here ah, I forgot what this was for but it's in here for now um, this is like a day specific task insert from Peanuts Planner Co um, had an idea for these two but I forgot what I was going to have it in for. Anyway, I think this one I'm going to leave till next year so I might take this out since we're pretty much in October and that just feels like I've just wasted this whole insert so we'll see. Um, and then I've got this cleaning tracker from um, Paper and Ink Designs. Um, Paper and Ink Printable, sorry. This has been a long filming day. Um, and you've got your yearly, your seasonal, as needed, and then you've got your monthly and your weekly. Um, and you could, I think Kat has put up an uh, update for this insert where you could print out as much of the month and weekly inserts as you want instead of constantly having this on the other side of the sheet too. Um, so yeah, I just thought that's a great nifty idea. This will start in October because um, yeah, some stuff where I've printed out new inserts um, and it's midway through the month I won't bother like filling out for the rest of the month there's just no point and um, so I just want a fresh start to the month which is why these are just not broken into yet uh, task management here I've got this um, family printable and um, custom printable from paper and ink um, print paper and ink printables Oof. Ah, it's just twisty words today. Um, I've got my entertainment bundle from um, Paper Test Designs. Just like releases. I've got Mulan. I need to watch it. Haven't got around to it yet. Um, haven't upgraded my Disney Plus yet. That's another reason why. Um, episode tracker. These are normally for the ones that I watch off of YouTube. Most of them are Chinese or Korean drama shows. Uh, there that can hit 20 or above, if it hits above, then I'm just gonna add an extra sheet uh, to do it because this only has up to 20 episodes. I've got Frozen 2 I need to watch as well. Books to read. Um, I'm finding that this year I might end up um, focusing more on Audible um, for a while, um, but at least I have this insert here because I do have a lot of physical books that I want to read too that I do have in my bookshelf, so I'll get to that. Podcasts, I have been listening to podcasts, um, one from, I think, Taisha. Um, I'm going to say her name wrong, but I'm going to leave the names down below. Um, and I believe MJ Planner and, oh no, Oh no, I, I forgot her friend's name. <laughs> they have a podcast as well. It's like Pocket Planner um, Podcast. And I love listening to them too. I haven't heard their new podcast coming out soon. Um, coming out at all. So fingers crossed they do upload at some point. Because I absolutely love listening to them during work. Um, so I've got that list there. I've got notes, lists. I've got to buy. These are mainly for like home um stuff obviously it's in the home section Rachel duh and um, so I've got that there task cards that I think I just want to add more to that list that I have which were here this here so there's that inventory list when I was just moving things here left right and center and back and forth so I've got that here just in case I wondered ooh, where did that go another task management insert this is from Peanuts Planner Co I've got that there then I've got my meal planning section. This has been working out so well um, for the past half year. Um, I've really been enjoying it because I only um, meal plan my dinners and the bottom section, the grid part, I just use for like the shopping list and um, it's one for, we want, we go like twice a week. Um, so yeah, that's been, this has been working out really well. And then obviously the past couple of weeks, we haven't been as vigilant because of um, goings and all that jazz. Anyway, personal life stuff, yay. Um, so that's there. Meal um, meal ideas insert, haven't got around to that yet. Recipes insert, haven't found a new recipe to try yet. It is tabbed, but I haven't had the time to just write it down because I don't know if it's successful or not, if we like it or not. So that's there when we need it. And then that's that, and I've got 
the back here of home just got some extra sticky notes there this is a very long video guys um, yeah I will hopefully get a shorter one up just like a flip through of it um, but for now hello chatty very chatty Rachel for this flip through <laughs> um, yeah so next up is the finance one um, finance section this is quite private um, but these printables are from paper test designs you can see the inserts um, on her listing I'm just gonna yes um, it's like a monthly fold out finance budgeting insert this one here and then this is your yearly bill tracker um, I don't have things moved over yet um, so that's how they look like budgeting I've got that in there already again you can see off of the listing so I'm going to pass on that Ooh. yes this is the spending tracker because this is like along the way um, which is an, a very detailed way to do your spending tracker if you really like to keep an eye on where things are going out to um, so there's that and then you've got your daily spending if you like you want to be on a strict minimal spend I say minimal spend because I can never do a no spend it just doesn't work for me um, so that will most likely be how I use this insert for October you've got your expenses um, I do have two types here this one is from paper test designs and this is from sterling ink um, I just love that there's oh sorry I just shuffled the camera um, I just love that there's a total at the end um, I think yeah paper test design doesn't do that but um, sterling ink does that and um, and there's a, like a pay period so I'll probably use this for like pay um, payday stuff just to keep an eye on things probably planner spends and stuff but we'll see there's a lot of inserts in here that can really just end up doubling up so um, I think in October I'll just test it what works best for me and just go from there so there's a couple of sheets of that then you've got your subscription tracker here too and um, it's got your monthly and your yearly types and then your online order one as well I keep this to the front um, because I don't like to see the amounts because what I find is most online order trackers they include the amounts as well and I'm like nope I see that in finance I don't want to see it again uh, when I'm tracking my happy mail <laughs> obviously some guilt in there is like hmm did I spend that on the planner stuff yes um, seen it once don't want to see it again um, get the stuff I'm happy with then definitely go on a minimal spend yep <laughs> that kind of thing and I've got a wish list um, here as well I've got my savings tracker here I haven't filled it out yet so I can just, like, just show you how that insert looks like and then I've got my no spend tracker here again I'm more likely to be the minimal spend than the no spend so there's that that's the finance section you see my planner is getting quite full here going up to the end and then lastly we've got the minimally miscellaneous section so this is just random inserts that I have in here that might work for me in certain areas that I might need so I've got this plans and vibes um, is it the Cornell style note taking insert um, extra paper test design um, notes inserts on her list ones blank paper and then some grid at the end from what I see yeah grid and there's the back of that and then on this one here there's just um, some digital that I found I've just printed on vellum these two are from read and wonder um, the shop read and wonder um, they're based in Australia but I really love that they do Akatar themed pens and stickers too and bookmarks and possible tote bags I think there's quite a number of things but yeah definitely check them out too absolutely love them if you love fandom items this is from uh, planners anonymous from over a year ago um, just got some family photos here that's my page um, page lifter yeah and then I've just got some cute little notes this is from my cousin that she wrote a note at the back and this is from my boyfriend um, from our one year so there's that I've got nothing in the secretarial pocket this is the um, Sarasa Grand in the dark brown color battle in the gold um, metal but I do believe they do this in silver as well I just haven't found a place that sells it in EU <laughs> um, I think it's only like Amazon Japan that does it 
In the back here, this big back pocket, I have this cute little note from Weishi Art. She's based, I believe, she's based somewhere in EU and she does really cute um, fandom pins as well. They're super adorable. I believe she recently released some Animal Crossing ones that you could check out, but yeah, super cute. Um, these are the stickers I was talking about um, from Georgina. Um, like these minimal um, style stickers, they're really small, but they work so well in any size of inserts that I currently use. Um, and they're super detailed too. So that's like um, a credit card, then you've got your TV, and then you've got like your laundry, like look how cutely detailed they are. Um, and then you've got your meals, then of course your groceries, how cute. And then your nail polish, yay. And then of course Happy Mail boxes, parcels, yes. And then I've got this old sheet from Planner Doodle Shop, who is now Caffeine and Paper Printables. No, Caffeine and Paper. Caffeine and Paper Co. I got there in the end, guys. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, that is my detailed chatty foot through. I did not expect it to go this long, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I hope I will also be able to upload like a shorter version later on in the week. Um, just so like if you don't want to sit there listening to me talk for days, you've got it there. Or you can put this video up on like super speed on YouTube, mute me and just see me go through the planner super fast. That works out too. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully it will be uh, care, leather care on this as well. So yeah, see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.